Hello and welcome to This Artist Room. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a hack vlog. Now, I got a question from YouTuber Brian uh, Kupfers Kupfersmith. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong there, Brian. The question was, is my most preferred video editing app? It's not app, it's apps. I always use more than one app in everything that I do. For video, I use two apps, always. And one of them is CuteCut Pro and also Pinnacle Studio Pro. Both of them lack stuff and both of them have stuff that the other one doesn't. And I'll tell you why I use these two. I do a lot, a lot, a lot of heavy editing. That is why my videos take a very long time to make because I edit them a lot. I cut a lot of stuff, mms and ahs. I have short spaces in between sentences. I pace my stuff in a certain way and then I add pictures, I add music. Pinnacle Studio allows me to have three audio tracks. That's very good because I'm a musician and I like using a lot of audio. And also Pinnacle Studio is the fastest one when it comes to cutting and removing stuff. Cute Cut Pro is really slow when it comes to that. When you want to get like really want to get into detail, Cute Cut Pro really suffers and Pinnacle Studio is much better at that. Another thing that I do a lot for my videos, picture in picture. That's when I take my face cam, make it smaller and put it in a corner somewhere. And the thing is to do it in Pinnacle Studio bothers some chore, nothing you want to do. For picture in picture, it's not fun because you have to pre-render every clip so you, you can view what's happening takes time. There are so many other aspects to why I don't want to do that. That's why I use Cute Cut Pro. Cute Cut Pro is the best picture in picture editor. Cute Cut Pro allows you to have two video tracks and that's more than Pinnacle Studio. So when you want to do picture in picture, you actually have a really real-time preview of what the picture-in-picture -picture looks like and it flows really good it's really good now the sore thing with QCAP Pro is that it can only render stuff up to 720p and I usually want to export my video in 1080p of course I want to get as high resolution as I can get Pinnacle Studio allows you to do that it now even allows you to export in 2k and 4k mode not completely problem free but they have just released an update that should fix that and I haven't checked it out so don't take my word for it but Cute Cut Pro only exports up to 720p and that's really not good enough for me and you can't just take a 720p video and then just export that to 1080 inside Pinnacle Studio because all you're doing is just stretching out the picture and it doesn't look good so I'd always upload it in 720 so that's something I would like changed in Cute Cut Pro so when I want to make my picture in picture my pip videos I always have to make a square of my video and I make that square inside QCAP Pro and that's really nice. You export the video into a square and then you grab that square and put it onto the other video, put it up in the corner, then export that. When I'm done with that inside QCAP Pro, I then grab that movie and open it up in Pinnacle Studio where I start doing the serious edits. But before doing that, I also export the audio from my face cam video because usually I plug my IK Multimedia iRig Mic HD into that. And I've used this microphone for almost all of the 250 videos I've made so far. That audio gets in there and that has to be processed in audio mastering by Igor Vasiliev, synced back into the video inside QCAT Pro where I'm making the picture in picture. So export that, grab that into Pinnacle Studio and then I start doing the edits and adding the intros and outros and other types of music. So that's why I use those two. So I actually use two apps, all all of the time, CuteCut Pro and Pinnacle Studio Pro. So now you know. As usual, Doug Woods, Colin Sweeney, and me, Jakob Hack at thesoundtoastroom.com, wishes you a very productive week. Now go finger your surfaces and have lots of fun doing it.